today is from Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week, and we are underway here on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And their quarterback, well, everyone knows he's got height, standing at 6'6". And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, we're talking about ordering dinner, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Open man is the tight end Troutman. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Second and seven. the play fake he'll look to throw that's caught by Marquez Callaway and he'll get this to the 30 yard line before crossing over out of bounds plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay they want a challenge and they're going to get one Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. On play action, they'll throw. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Back to throw again. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. Oh, why are we doing this? So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. 
second down. Here's Mostert again. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They'll look to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. On second down, Mostert. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. The Falcons send out their punter as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara, and he stopped immediately there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll set up to throw, and that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. Got this complete to the tight end Pitts. Another completion there. And we think back to the draft in the spring. This franchise essentially handing him the keys to the operation, a top five pick. Charles, how ready do you think he is? I think he's ready for the NFL in terms of size, speed, the makeup of him, the character of him. The key's going to be, will this team accept everything he brings to the game and adapt to it? Not just necessarily plug him into something that he doesn't do well. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. They'll roll him out. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Call it a loss of five. A big sack to bring up third down. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Now Greg Zerline. We all remember the 57-yarder that sent the Rams to the Super Bowl. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. 
And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. A first opportunity upcoming in the red zone for the Saints. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Andrew Van Ginkle there on the stop. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Lutz with the extra point. And the lead grows to 10-0. That time, a six-play drive. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Von Bell. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Second and two. Back to throw here. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. Another completion there, and what a big moment in a young quarterback's life, that first NFL start. And Charles, obviously they want him to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And, of course, how open is he to learning and, of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this is caught at the eight. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. He'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up fourth down. And Lutz puts this one through. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice win for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They hand it off to Mostert. 
And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. It's a jet sweep. They get it to Green. They'll look to throw now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. And they will run on the inside handoff. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. The Falcons on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. And Zerline's kick is good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to 3. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. He'll look to throw. That's complete over the middle to Callaway. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And they take possession of the football and have it at their 36-yard line. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll look to throw here on first down. His throw caught at about the five. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A first chance in the red zone for the Falcons now. They've got it first and goal at the six. Back to throw. Fighting through pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Kingsley Kiki able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. So out now comes the field goal unit for the Falcons. From the left hash, this from 37. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to six. So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. 
They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Here's second and seven now from the 28. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, <laughs> when the big guy gets hit... That usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Back to throw now on first down. That swung out to Moster. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. They're going to look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Now Moster off the read option. Gets by him, and now a little daylight. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They go play action here on first down. Evans has it left side. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down now, Bradshaw. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a big place in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Mostert. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Raheem Moster taking it in from a yard out. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Zerline good with a PAT. And that will tie our game here in the third. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Take it in at the three. But he won't quite make it to the 25. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. 
second and 11. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And that will be incomplete. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Take it at the 37. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And possession will switch hands first and 10. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll run the draw with Mostert. And he'll take this one down to the 36. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now back to throw. And Green with a catch left side. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will break our tie and give them a three-point lead. It's his third field goal now with the ball game, and they needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys, need you to make this stand up because we got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Looking to throw, and this is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Falcons will get it first and ten from deep in their own territory. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. They'll drop to throw. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll take it at the 42. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. 
And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here's second and eight. Space to run. Puts it on the carpet. It's out, and the Falcons grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They'll set up a throw. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Returnable here from the 38. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Second and one. That's complete to Troutman right side. So a nice throw there. And CD, I, I have to think you've been impressed with what you've seen thus far here in his debut. Now you know me well. I have been impressed because what I've seen is him starting to understand how to play the game in a short amount of time. The dazzling plays, they'll come and with experience. But right now, we're seeing him handle the game, make all the smart plays and the right reads. Now here's a throw that's complete. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on. And this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Now they go screen. It's complete. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that went. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off at the 18, and this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle to Evans. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Here's Mostert, toss left side. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 
I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll look to throw. Green with a catch left side. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settled in now first and 10. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Emmanuel Agba picks up his second sack of the afternoon. They'll set up to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Out of the gun now on third down. And he comes back with one complete. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. The kick by Lutz is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. We've seen some big kicks in the NFL the last few years, and that one might just rank right up there. And you know you can hear the crowd react, right? But I was focused in on the sideline and watched them absolutely erupt. I don't know how many of them thought that he was actually going to make that kick, but how about how they felt when the ball went over the post? About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it'll be third down. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Falcons send out their punter as the drive goes backwards. So he's on to punt it away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. The lit clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage, target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. A give. This is Camara. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Kamara. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. A potential field goal, if you're thinking about that, almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And they get the timeout called here. It comes with one second remaining on the clock. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So it all rests now on the right leg of Will Lutz. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And it's good! And on opening weekend, a field goal to win it as time expires. And Bourbon Street, it'll be alive tonight. The Saints have won it. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with Jim.